Hi all, and as you can hear from my voice, the cold weather outside isn't exactly made for us gamers. So let's stay indoors, and here are five games you might have missed this week on Steam. Because the horror games don't seem to be stopping this month, here's Skur Ritual. It's a follow-up from Made of Skur, which was a 2020 survival horror game which, while occasionally very bloody, focused mainly on creeping atmosphere. So it's surprising to see that Skur Ritual is an online 4-player horde shooter in the vein of Left 4 Dead. Launched into Early Access this week, the current version only has one of four planned maps, but it has plenty of zombie-like enemies to mow down, as well as a randomised miracle system, which offers roguelike style character progression throughout a run. Also, expect four classes with distinct playstyles and a large selection of unlockable cosmetics, mostly in the form of masks. It's a pretty familiar template with one of the most novelty being its upgradable steampunk weapons, and this creature that looks like it's wearing a torn baseball on its head. And yet, despite the popularity of Left 4 Dead and Back 4 Blood, there aren't a lot of games like this out there, so let's hope it's a home run for Skur Ritual. Come on everybody, it's time to party like it's 1428. Here's a fascinating story-driven adventure set in a 13th century Europe on the brink of apocalypse. Despite an ongoing war between religious factions in Central Europe, true evil of a completely different kind is approaching. What follows is a story heavily indebted to real history, but with a fantastical tinge told from the point of view of two contrasting characters. While viewed from an isometric perspective and boasting full 3D graphics, this is very much a point and click adventure at heart, so expect taxing puzzles and excruciating decisions to make. Hear ye, hear ye! Experience the plague in wonderful 16 bits in The Plague Doctor of Wipro. This game is another medieval themed point and click adventure, but with a decidedly old school approach. Presenting as an artifact from the early 1990s, you'll play as a German plague doctor as he undertakes his duties in the town of Wipro. The puzzle solving is themed around creating remedies for the game's ragtag cast of plague sufferers, and all have real life historical and medical context according to the Steam page. The Steam page also promises no bad jokes, which is a true rarity for this genre. And for this show, I never say any bad jokes, in fact you could say my jokes are pretty ill. Finally, something a little happier. The first thing I noticed about Falling Out is its resemblance to Spelunky, and while Derek Yu's roguelike has always boasted cooperative play, this game seems designed around it. It follows the unfortunate adventures of an oddball couple whose holiday has been ruined by a dangerous excursion in some underground dungeon. I hate it when that happens, I'm never going back to that Chilean mine. Also, played solo, you'll switch between protagonist Giorgio and Felici in order to solve problems requiring both. But it's the collaborative co-op mode that's most appealing here. There's PvP too for what it's worth. Like Spelunky, there's a daily challenge, leaderboards and a good reason not to linger in the levels for too long. Expect to wield bananas, frying pans and other weapons of questionable IRL effectiveness. This old school 16-bit JRPG is about as orthodox as they come but it has clearly been made with love. Across 23 biomes, you'll engage in tactical turn-based combat against over 100 different baddies. But as you'd expect, there's plenty of strange characters to meet and towns to explore too. It's these towns you'll be protecting as a mana finder, and it's your job to seek out mana stones that are used to protect communities from the powerful beasts that dominate the landscape. Protagonist Lambda is exiled for reasons unknown, and naturally you'll be facing off against foes in your mission to not save the world, but keep it inhabitable. And now time for a new segment here. Let's give out a few awards. An award for definitely not copyrighted dancing goes to the Carlton, I mean falling out. Watch out, there might be a lawsuit incoming. And because families are overrated and being exiled is kick-ass, my personal pick of the week goes to Mana Finder. The shoegazy 16-bit music and overall old-school aesthetic also is a standout for me. Let me know your pick of the week in the comments below. I've been Mahin Kasor, and remember to like and subscribe to PC Gamer's YouTube channel. Till next time, see ya!